In this video, I want to talk to you guys about some things I've done in my greenhouse this year that have been very helpful and productive for reducing the heat and light in this greenhouse during the summers. As you can see, I've got a lot of foliage in here right now and it's done a lot to reduce the temperature in this greenhouse because without some kind of shade in here, it gets so hot in here that it's it's unbearable really. But the things that I've done this year have made it so that I don't have to put shade cloth on here and that's something that I've done for the last couple years. I've done done a lot of that. Um, basically by mid-June I'd have to cover this up with a 50% uh, shade cloth just to keep it livable in here. Uh, another thing that I've that I was going to do this year but I haven't really needed to do is uh, roll up this whole side and I actually had to do that last summer but this summer has been cooler um, but I haven't had to do that this year uh, it's full-on summer now though I will say I mean we had a very very cold and rainy um, start to the summer which is uh, a trend I've been seeing for a, for a number of years but you know Summers will never stop being summers. Summers here will always be hot, at least at some point. And that's that's how it is now. We're getting up to we're getting up to what is it? 40 degrees Celsius, which is 105, 100 and yeah, 105 Fahrenheit. So it's been it's been hot. And then that means in here it would normally be hotter, but it hasn't been, which is really great. And that's because of these plants that I've been growing to create shade and they're also all edible plants. So I wanna talk about what those are and kind of how they're working. Uh, first thing is I learned this from visiting two really, really wise and uh, experienced growers. First time I saw this, this kind of idea was at Vermont Compost with Carl Hammer when I went into his greenhouse one of his uh, nursery greenhouses, he was growing peaches in there. And, I, and, and, and Vermont's a, a bit too cold of a climate to grow peaches, but he had them in the, in the greenhouse. And I thought that was really interesting. And, and at the time when I went to see him, I, I just asked, why are you growing peaches in here? I, didn't, I, I was kind of ignorant to how cold Vermont was, especially at his elevation. I didn't realize that it, you couldn't do that. And he said, well, it's two things. One, it's so that I can grow peaches in this cold climate. And another is that when the foliage fills out, in this greenhouse, it acts as a really nice shade structure. So I thought that was fascinating. And the other time I saw this was at Michael Abelman's farm, Foxglove Farm on Salt Spring Island, and he was growing grapes in his nursery. And I was fascinated by that too. I said, oh, that's interesting. And I, by this point, I kind of figured out why. It makes sense, because the grapes grow all season, but then they drop their foliage in the uh, winter, and so it doesn't inhibit your light at all, but it does make the greenhouse cooler in the summer. So I've done um, all of the, oh, I don't have a peach in here. <laughs> I can grow peaches outside in this climate. But I wanna show you the uh, plants that I do, that I am using for shade. And I think they're quite amazing. So grapes, just like, um, just like Michael Abelman. And I'm training them upwards here. <laughs> I'm hoping to just basically keep my, my permanent main leader growing right along the uh, the joists here of this. Um, one that I'm doing a lot of, which is an annual, are cucumbers. So this is a, um, a really actually sketchy <laughs> lemon cucumber. The seed is supposed to be lemon cucumbers. It's not, it's something else, but it's actually growing a lot of shade. So this one, I don't even, I, can't, I don't, it might be a mystery seed, but it's producing a lot of shade, so I'm not really, uh, uh, getting worried about it. I am trimming it a lot though as you can see I just pruned some there throw them on the ground Throw them in the compost after but it is getting a little bit hairy up there. So I'm having to uh, trim this on a weekly basis um, Another cucumber actually this is a, that same plant which I have no idea what it is It's just growing a lot of foliage, so I can't argue with that another grape uh, these are all uh, seedless table grapes that's my favorite kind of grape. I've got lots growing outside and I'd like to establish some in the greenhouse here so that I get an early and late picking from them. So grapes, cucumbers so far, another cucumber. This is just a, like a long English variety, super productive. Um, also got 
some here. I kind of just grow them vertically wherever I can. Uh, another grape, another cucumber, and then here's the two that um, are new to me. One is up here. This is passion fruit, and it's very productive. We're getting a lot of passion fruits on here. Um, coming along there, not quite ripe, but uh, we've had, we have had a few ripe ones already. So the passion fruit's amazing, and the other one that's like insane <laughs> are figs. Figs are absolutely off the chains insane. Um, what I love about figs, I've grown them for a few years now, is you can hack them right down to the ground at the end of the year, or at the end of the growing season. And uh, it's all, they grow off all new foliage, at least this variety, which I can't tell you what it is, I have no idea. Um, but they come off new growth. Uh, you know, some fruits, um, many fruits, fruit off the last year's growth, right? And so you can't just, like a rasp, most raspberries do that. Uh, I believe apples do that. Um, not an expert on fruit, but at least uh, figs don't do that. They fruit on on the, the first year's growth. So by winter time, I will literally just hack this down to the ground, get rid of all that foliage so that I can have lots of light coming in in the winter. So I've got a fig there. I got another fig here. And uh, uh, this side of the greenhouse is amazing. It's very shady. And um, yeah, I love it. It's, um, yeah, this hasn't made any, any difference in what I can grow in here. I'm still starting some stuff. I've got some celery ac and some more ginger I gotta put out. The ginger will go in here, uh, but that celery ac is gonna go out into my field and then under a caterpillar tunnel. So I'm still starting stuff in here. Right now, not very much. We've already got all of our fall crops out on the ground. Uh, that celery ac is the last of the transplants. We've got our winter kale, our winter cabbages, um, our winter broccolinis, those are all transplanted in the farm already. And then I've got a bunch more seeding to do this week. Carrots are gonna go on the ground, but that's not nursery stuff, so it's a different subject. But, but anyways, yeah, so this is it. Look at this. There's a lot of foliage in here. It's like a little jungle. My kids love it. It's just like a, you can get lost in here. And uh, yeah. The, you know, you got to manage it, especially with the cucumbers. They grow so fast that they, the passion fruit is insane too. There's another passion fruit here. I got to keep managing it. Like I got another one coming here. You might've wondered what that black screen is. That's so I can do um, my Q and A videos in the greenhouse without getting blown out by light. Maybe I don't even need it anymore because of all that shade there, but that's why that's there. Um, yeah, you got to manage some of this stuff. You know, now that I put these skylights in here, this 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 um, kefir lime is just growing right up there, so I got to manage that. And same with the uh, the passion fruit; it's just getting insane up there. But you can see I've got quite a few. I don't know if you can see on there, but you got quite a few passion fruits. There's actually dozens of them in here. I wonder if we've been missing them <laughs> now that I'm taking the time to look because they really do blend in because they're green and then they'll go sort of a dark purple and then uh, that's when they're ready. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing this year and it works really well. I'm, we're, uh, we're looking to start a new homestead soon and this is one thing I'm going to do. I'm, I plan on building another passive solar greenhouse and that's one thing I'm going to put in it right away is perennial fruits and then of course I'll have all the annuals but we'll get grapes in there right away passion fruit in there right away and uh, let those take over as quickly as possible to keep it at a reasonable temperature in the summer so hope you guys found that video helpful if you did hit the subscribe button share and like them with your friends and I'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.